Hello Libra, welcome to this 2021-2022 year in review or year end review, however you want to say it, say it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this reading, this message finds you well, yes? So in this session, we are going to be looking at uh, 2021 and how that may have gone for you or what it may have represented for you. And then we're going to look at 2022 and see what's coming for you or what 2022 is looking like from you at this time. Yes. So this is a general reading as always. So keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, I invite you guys, I encourage you guys to try to watch this from any Libra placement that you have. So regardless as to what whatever planet is in Libra for you outside of sun, moon, and rising, if you want to watch it, watch this video to maybe get some messages, get some deeper understanding, I highly recommend that you do that. Of course, your sun, moon, and rising signs are going to be most likely the ones that resonate the most for you, obviously, with your rising sign at the top of that list. But I highly encourage you guys to mix and match, get as much information as you can, piece it all together, and then work with that and see what that does or how that means, what how that resonates for you. Yeah? All right, Libra, I'm going to use two decks here. Um, one deck is going to look at 2021, the next deck is going to look at 2022, and then we're going to be closing out this reading with some oracle guidance from you from the Earth Warriors Oracle. Yes? All right, Libra. And also keep in mind, um, as you can see, I'm sitting out in my backyard here, but there are a bunch of chickens running around, you know, foraging, just the, just the local neighbors, and so you're probably going to hear a lot of rustling in the background, and then you're probably going to hear them being all chatty and stuff, but don't mind them. They're just doing their thing. Yeah. All right, Libra. Let's get into this for you. I'm going to give this five shuffles for you. One. Let's see what the year of 2021 has been like for you. Yes. For my Libras. What was 2021 like for Libra? What did 2021 represent for Libra? This is two. Okay. We have a card that's already come out here. Spirit is saying it's an overall energy. Five of Wands, conflict, okay. Um, many of I, What I'm hearing is many of you were dealing with this conflict in your interpersonal relationships, in your, in your personal life. Uh, Libra, you know, that's not, this is that, this Five of Wands energy is really not anything new for you, at least that's kind of how I feel about it when je when approaching your energy generally. And that's mainly because, Libra, you are very much focused, or at least naturally, your energy is focused around finding balance, okay? Libra is ruler of the seventh house. So the seventh house is all about your interpersonal relationships. Um, I am getting very specifically, though, Libra, that this was conflict with uh, either the people around you or just your surrounding environment. Um, whether you were dealing with conflict with people, you know, directly, like between you and others, or you were kind of like handling conflict on behalf of other people, okay? This is two. Now, already, as I've been doing these readings for this round, Libra, like everybody seems to be going through a situation where they're clearing up personal situations with the people around them. This is three. So that's kind of a general theme that was going on with the collective over the course of the year. But let's dive deeper and see what this really means for you. This is four. <clears throat> and this is five. All right, Libra. So what was 2021 like for you? What was 2021 like for Libra? Oh, oh, you really were the, the, the mitigator, weren't you? You have that with the King of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. This could have had to do with children. Um, if you do have children, you may have had a tough time with them. Um, and not to say that they were being super difficult or something, but I'm feeling for some of you here is that they were coming of a certain age in which... Uh, in which I, I feel like maybe some of them reached the age, the teenage years, where maybe they were dealing with some depression. I feel like there was new personality emergences. This is weird. New personality, like their personalities grew where they're becoming more express, expressive, they're becoming more independent here. 
But what I'm getting here, what I'm seeing is Libra, you have the King of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles that is coming out with this Five of Wands as well. And I feel like um, I feel like you were the guiding source. If this resonates for you in terms of interpersonal relationships, like people outside of you, I feel like you have been this guiding source or this guiding force to say, to be objective and be like, let's just take this one step at a time or this is the plan and we've just got to follow through with it. Now, for others of you, the year of 2021 could have been a lot of internal conflict, five of wands. And it feels like you've got quite clear on that or you had the opportunity to, what I want to say is you were able to get very clear of that and maybe put a plan of action into place to reconcile the situation or to just heal it or move forward from it, okay? Okay, for Libra, year of 2021. Wow. Wow, Libra. Okay, overall energy, you do have the Empress here. Oh. My nose, I'm starting to get the itchies here on my nose. <laughs> you know, the, the channeler's curse, right? Whatever. Um, give me a second. Let me, let me focus on what this is. Because you have the Five of Wands, like we discussed. You also have the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Swords, like we discussed. But now you have the High Priestess, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands, and the Ten of Cups here. So Libra, your energy is fairly similar to Virgo's energy. And that kind of makes sense. You guys are like neighbors. You're right next to each other in Zodiac, right? Um, so Libra, it seems that over the course of the year of 2021, you were going through a situation in which you were fine-tuning your intuition, potentially, maybe even just fine-tuning your connection to source. Do you guys like my pajamas? my PJs. Anyway, sorry, whatever. It doesn't freaking matter. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Cause what I'm getting with the high priestess, the king of wands, the queen of wands, and then the 10 of wands, a ton of cups, excuse me, is, uh, you were fine tuning your connection to source. That's, that's what I'm getting. There is a level of self mastery here that you needed to undertake Aha, yes. So this Five of Wands energy is definitely um, resolving uh, or has to do with inner conflict. Okay, so what I want to say about this is you were, um, you were over the course of this year dealing with a misalignment within yourself. Okay, maybe where, how you were at odds with each other. Um, you were definitely dealing with balancing, harmonizing, balancing and harmonizing the masculine energies and the feminine energies within you. So also this could, you may have been heavily afflicted by, over the course of your life up until this year, really, I guess we should say, you may have been heavily afflicted by what it is you want to do, what it is you are in alignment with, Queen of Wands, and what it is you actually did, what it is you actually took um, action on. And I feel like I keep hearing you were being of service to other people Okay, but maybe you weren't being in service to people in a way that really resonated with you. And maybe you were dealing with a lot of conflict around that. Or maybe you were just dealing with a lot of conflict within yourself. I'm hearing you were at odds with yourself. Your masculine and your feminine energies were very much at odds with each other. And so the course of the year uh, took you, took, brought this inner conflict to light five of wands, all right, and you were able to achieve a level of, of saying, okay, this is the game plan, king of swords, page of pe or knight of pentacles, or you were able to clearly understand what the nature of this disturbance within yourself was, the nature of this friction within yourself was. And I'm again, I'm hearing you were able to put a plan of action into place. So king of swords is representing the awareness, the clear and objective awareness that you were able to achieve over the course of this year. The Knight of Pentacles is you moving slowly but surely to bring this in balance. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and ultimately the Ten of Cups, all right? This is definitely a union energy for you. And I want to say with the High Priestess here is this absolutely was divinely oriented. I'm sorry, divinely orchestrated. Orchestrated? 
Wow, that's a new one. Divinely orchestrated, but also oriented is also a good thing too. So maybe you are, maybe you are resonating with the twin flame journey um, because you do have overall energy here. You do have the, high, the the empress, which represents the divine feminine. Some of you are reson or were resonating with the twin flame journey. Um, in terms of the twin flame journey, I see the king and the queen of wands as the divine masculine, representations of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. I'm sorry. I'm there are ants, a bunch of ants around me, and there's this one ant carrying a carcass of another ant, and it just looked really weird. <laughs> okay. Anyway, the, uh, in terms of the twin flame journey, the king and the queen of wands. King is the 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 divine masculine. Queen of wands is the divine feminine. At least for me as a reader. And sure, you could have been dealing with some twin flame energies in the external, but I don't feel like that's what the focus has been here for you, Libra. I feel like the focus has been the divine matchmaking process within yourself or getting yourself into alignment, getting your masculine energy and your feminine energy on the same page together. Okay. And with this Empress here at the bottom of the deck, I feel like re I feel regeneration is coming. I feel unconditional love is coming through from here for you here. Nurturance. There's a level of divine love, of unconditional love that has been pouring down towards you throughout the course of this year that has allowed you to cleanse and heal this discrepancy within yourself that is allowing the change in the cycles to happen for you because underneath the empress is the is the seven of swords but then the wheel of fortune okay so you're changing this dynamic within you and also you could have been dealing with some lies deception trickery deceit backstabbing whatnot whatever in your external reality but ultimately you needed to come to an understanding of how that was how you were resonating with that which was a direct result of you being at odds with yourself, King and Queen of Wands. But as you bring that that, that balance into place, you literally change that dynamic. You change that um, that cycle for yourself. And so you're exiting out of 2021 with this clarity and, and having healed this bond to a certain degree. I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to say that it's completely healed here, but a massive regeneration process has definitely taken place for you. So that's good, all right? And obviously, the, the level of this integration process is dependent on you specifically, but um, we're not trying to give any grades or scores here, okay? Like, that is completely arbitrary and not even near, near necessary, so don't worry about that. So excellent. So let's see. Five shuffles for you here, Vir Libra. Not Virgo, Libra. Sorry, I just did Virgo's reading. Um, but let's see what 2022 is looking like for you. Yes, Libra? This is one. This is two. Good God, you guys. My nose has an itch like this in a long time. <laughs> Yikes. Ugh. Okay. This is three. What's 2022 looking like for Libra? Uh. This is four. And this is five. All right. So what's the year 2022 looking like for Libra? Well, look at that. At the bottom of the deck so far, Libra, you've got the Wheel of Fortune again. I'm hearing big paradigm change. Big dynamic shift. Okay. What's 2022 for Libra, please, Spirit? What's 2022 looking like for Libra? Wow, that's a lot. Okay, and that too. Okay, <laughs> you are, you are, wow. Okay, so what I want to say here, Libra, is that entering into 2022, oh my God, this is so annoying. I'm sorry, you guys, but like, I'm li like, I feel like I have cat hair all over me. Like, what is going on? What is going on? Anyway, you are entering into 2022 with a massive sense of internal balance, harmony, and integration. Okay. Overall energy for you here is the Ace of Swords. Clarity, truth, honesty, integrity. All right. But look, Libra, you're showing up twice. Your energy is literally showing up twice here. You have Justice and you have the Queen of Swords. All right. But give me a second. Let me make sh let me make sense of all of this before 
I'm hearing you're starting a new path. Uh, you're moving forward swiftly. You're moving forward diligently. These are all good things. What do you have here? So first of all, first and foremost, Libra, I feel like you are moving into 2022 from a deep sense or from a place of a deep sense of healing. Okay. You have the three of swords to the star, to the eight of cups, to the seven of pentacles. All right. So whatever heartbreak you dealt with, whatever fragmentation that you uh, you achieved or received over the course of your life up until this point, much of that, if not all of that, has been healed. Okay, the three of three of swords to the star. Yes, the star does re represent ultimate wish fulfillment, and yes, you know, ultimately you will be moving towards greater to towards greater wish fulfillment. But really, the star here represents the healing that you've done. That is allowing you to move forward. Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. on be Because of what it is that you've learned here. Because of the understandings that you, you have come to. And because of how that has translated in your life. And the changes you have been able to make because of it. Justice with the Queen of Swords. Okay. And then finally, you have here the Eight of Wands. The Six of Cups. Chariot and Strength. I feel like some of you have, over the course of this year, you've been able to reconnect with some things from the past that you may have really resonated with. I do feel like for some of you, the 2022 is bringing a resurgence of certain hobbies or gifts um, or projects that you may have wanted to start or that you may have wanted to utilize that you may you may have maybe lost your connected to connection to or disconnected from because of certain fragmentation that happened over your life or because of this imbalance with the masculine and feminine energy within you. For others of you, there could be a soulmate coming into your life here. But also what I'm getting with this for the year of 2022 for you, specifically in the Eight of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Chariot, and the Strength, what I heard is you are having the strength to move on from the past. And not only are you moving on from the past because you're in direct alignment, but the, the energies are clear, are open. Eight of Wands. They're clear, like you have a clear and open opportunity to really move forward with in, in your life. So the year of 2022 is looking excellent for you. It feels like you've put a lot into place already and you're ready to move forward with the rest of it. That's beautiful. Let's get one last closing message for you, Libra, for the year of 2022. Okay. All right. Page of Cups. Dreamer energy. Page of Cups with the moon here. And it's funny because... Uh, because Virgo got the his Virgo got a very similar energy. You really may want to watch the Virgo reading, okay? You may resonate with Virgo somehow. Okay, so what I'm getting with this Libra for you for the final message for the year of 2022 before we move on to our closing oracle guidance is keep the faith and don't forget your worth. Some of you may some of you run the risk um, slipping back into some old habits or old circumstances. First of all, let me say, if you do find yourself doing that, like if ultimately you get on down the road in 2022, however far we get, and you find yourself slipping back into old situations, old circumstances, old habits, don't worry about it, okay? You haven't failed. It's not really that big of a deal. Instead of harping on it or, or beating yourself up about it or feeling really disappointed in yourself, Take a noted point of view or take, uh, be honest with yourself about the change in your perspective now versus the last time that you dealt with it, okay? You have the moon here with the four of swords, the queen of pentacles, and the five of swords. And really what this is saying to me here is, um, well, first of all, I'm getting nebulous activity with the, with the moon here. Um, Straight up and down, even though I'm sitting here trying to pull some energies and predict a little bit about what 22 is, 2022 is going to be for us, 
it's still looking like a pretty nebulous year. Okay, like there, there are so much that is unseen that's going to be uncovered, like moving on forward in the future. Like there's a lot of unpredictability, but what this is clearly saying, at least to me, Libra, is make sure you keep a close eye on your self-worth and you make sure that you maintain your connection with that. You make sure that you do what it is that you can to, to hold your worth, okay? There could be some people come, I'm sorry, I keep scratching my nose, but like it's so itchy. There may be some people that can may try to come back and reconcile with you, page of cups. But remember that if you've walked away from anything like that, remember that it's over. 10 of pentacles to the wheel of fortune. Again? Yes, again, for you, Libra. Remember that it is over. Remember that you have left those situations behind for a reason, okay? Don't let them rope you back in, but even if they ultimately are able to do so, just take a, mar a marked point of view of what your mindset is now and what you can see about this situation now or in whenever, if you ever, if you find yourself being faced with again, Versus what you could see in the past and how little you may have been able to see about it in the past. Okay. I want you to be very clear on that. Okay. Allow yourself to appreciate the change that you have been able to achieve. The change in focus you've been able to achieve. <laughs> yes. All right. Let's get this closing oracle guidance for you. I'm going to do my best to keep it together as I... <laughs> Uh, as I do that. Okay, three shuffles. One. Two. Closing Oracle Guidance for Libra. Please, Spirit, this is three. All right, Libra. Let's see what we've got for you. Closing Oracle Guidance for Libra. Yes. Okay. All right. You have card number 16, which does boil down to a seven, uh, which is a, a, a number of luck. Yes. But it's also a, love, a number of divine wisdom. And I feel like that's a lot of what you've gained over the course of this year. And thus you have Lolo stand in the light. Good golly. Okay. You are unique. You are a divine and beautiful being. You stand apart from the crowd. Sometimes this evokes jealousy or desire in others who want to possess your light and beauty as their own. Allow yourself to be true to who you are. Do not try to hide your inner light and beauty. You are meant to be seen. Your soul is nurtured and protected by your love for great spirit. It literally feels like something is crawling on my nose. <laughs> okay, in a reading this says, don't avoid the spotlight or try to hide yourself nor dull your light to appease another or your own fears. <sighs> Something's popping off, y'all. Ooh, something upset them chickens, honey. <laughs> okay. Uh, your true inner divine light and beauty is meant to help others. And the only way that that can occur is if you allow yourself to fully be and express it. And this is very much taking me back to this alignment of the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands to the Ten of Cups. There's definitely a level of personal authenticity that could be coming through for you here over the course of the coming year that you were not able to express before, or I, I just heard in the beginning. So maybe in the beginning of the year. So, wow. Wow, Libra. That's great. Okay. Do not shrink away from your magnificence when you feel challenged. Instead, step up to an entirely new level of boldness. You have a gentle nature, but you are strong. If you have become obsessed with the beauty and power of another 
It is time to come back to your own divine beauty, to unearth it, explore it, express it, and let it shine. Trying to blend in will drain the energy from you. Let those who are attracted to your light adapt to your level of divine expression. You are the benchmark and they will evolve to reach you. That's beautiful. So there you have it, Libra. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. If you guys would like a personal reading with this exact spread, definitely hit me up. My email is in the description box below. Just let me know you would like this spread that you saw here and I will get you all set up. But with that said, I'm sending you all so much love. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your year and an even better year to come. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye.